My News 26. I'm Abigail Blackrick. Today, in Lovells, speaking with Rob Berg, museum director for the Lovells Historical Museums. Rob, tell me about this museum, the Trout History Museum that we're standing in. Well, this is uh, the only trout fishing history museum in Michigan. Uh, we're called the Lovells Museum of Trout Fishing History, and we're operated by the Lovells Township Historical Society. Uh, started in 2003 this museum and we focus on the history of trout fishing in Michigan not just on the Osabo River that we're on the north branch of the Osabo but throughout Michigan trout fishing has always been one of the very popular pastimes in northern Michigan and it's been an important uh, economic force in uh, this part of the state of uh, fishermen coming up for more than a century uh, to fish for first the grayling which became extinct and then brook trout brown trout rainbow trout here on the uh, branches of the Osabo and the Manistee River nearby, the Muskegon River, and uh, rivers up into the uh, Pigeon River country. And even Ernest Hemingway grew up uh, as a child uh, trout fishing uh, coming out of his uh, family home on uh, Walloon Lake by Petoskey. Absolutely. So here in northern Michigan, there's just a real love for trout fishing. So back in 2003, when you guys decided to establish this museum to really dedicate to that love for trout fishing, what was behind thinking, you know, this community could really use something like this? Well, uh, the uh, Lovells Township Historical Society began about a, a decade before in 1991 when uh, old schoolhouse was moved to the site and became the township uh, uh, history museum and uh, this facility was built in 2001. Initially there wasn't really sure what was going to happen in this building uh, and uh, some of the people in the community uh, believe that uh, trout fishing uh, was very important for the area and uh, just uh, pushed to have this become a, a museum uh, dedicated on that. We have a lot of fly fishermen that still come to the area. Uh, they um, stay at a nearby a hotel uh, bed and breakfast there's fly shops. So this is very much part of the economic uh, force of the community still. So here we decided let's have a museum that uh, kind of reinforces that not just still for today but through the history uh, of the area which included the founding of Trout Unlimited uh, which is now an international organization uh, but it started in 1959 on the banks of the main branch of the Osabo uh, below Grayling. Wow so an international organization that started right here where we're at. So how would you say the community has overall responded to having this? Do you get a lot of visitors who are excited to have this opportunity? Well, yes, uh, it's become a, a, it's an important part of the community. Uh, it brings people in from all over, uh, not just tomorrow for our trout opener, uh, but also uh, throughout the season. Our museum actually coincides with the trout season. We open on the last day of April, last Saturday in April, which is when trout season opens, and we close uh, at the end of September when trout season ends. So most of our people that come in are related to the trout fishing history, but we have a lot of the local people that come in, uh, our Lone Pine Schoolhouse, that museum uh, is focused on the local history. And then here we can bring in some statewide exhibits like the one that we have uh, opening tomorrow, the uh, Anatomy of a Fisherman about John Volker, who was a lawyer and Supreme Court Justice for, in the state of Michigan, a author, uh, wrote Anatomy of a Murder, a great, uh, mur not a murder mystery because it was no mystery, mm -hmm. uh, it was a, a crime drama, uh, and then made the, the movie of the same name that we'll be showing tomorrow night in Grayling at the Rialto Theater. And uh, he also wrote a number of fishing books because he was a great lover of trout fishing, which uh, when he retired uh, as a Supreme Court Justice, part of it was to devote more time to writing and to fish. So, <laughs> Wow, that's exciting. So John Volker grew up here in Michigan, I believe, in the Upper Peninsula, you said? Yes, uh, John Volker was not from this area. Uh, he grew up, uh, was born and raised in Ishpeming, west of Marquette, and he was Marquette County uh, prosecutor for a number of years, and uh, that's where he devoted most of his life, although he did you know, come down this way once in a while. He was invited uh, by Harold Southard, a grayling resident, to fish the uh, caddis hatch in, uh, on the Osabo River in 1963, but he declined because he wanted to stay home in Marquette County uh, <laughs> catching the brook trout there. But, uh, but he had, you know, he was well known throughout the state and he was a member of Trout Unlimited and his writings, uh, which he wrote from the 1930s up until shortly before his death, uh, he died in 1991. Uh, much of his writings was about trout fishing and and so we have in part of our exhibit some awards he won uh, or was given for uh, his dedication to the trout fishing community. 
So it sounds like he has a very earned spot here at the Trout History Museum, and he has a very big love for Northern Michigan back when he was making, bringing all of this together. So, Rob, can you tell me how people can get more information if they wanted to come visit this museum? Is there a website or a phone number? Yes. Uh, well, our website is levelsmuseum.com. Uh, we also have a Facebook page that's under Lovells Township Historical Society. Our email is Lovells Museums with an S at gmail.com. And then uh, you can, they can reach me on phone at 989-889-5691. Great. Thanks, Rob. Thank you. Thanks for coming out. Absolutely. In Lovells, I'm Abigail Blackrick with My News 26.